Hey everybody, and welcome back to this 37th episode of Storms of the Serenar. Our heroes have just arrived to New Wrath and are in the Adventure District in the Battle Dover Reach, where uh, where uh, magic items, potions, uh, quest boards, and everything else is found on the street level. Our heroes have just decided to split up and do some shopping, so let's figure out what they're doing. All right, guys, where do you, where do you want to go? What do you want to buy? How are we splitting up, first of all? Uh, Furrow and Nongle are going to head off. Anybody That's who wants fun. to come with me can come with me. Um, I have a couple of different things that I want, ranging from <laughs> uh, armor to more Easter Terror items. So. I think I'll follow you then, because I'm actually interested in armor as well. Uh, oh, well should we split up our gold then? then um... I mean, it's up to Raw if we want to just kind of, we'll just dip in to the party loot and we'll just, we'll just say that we've split it up. It's probably going to be easier than us. Yeah, it's probably it. easier. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So we'll just all assume that we kind of have essentially some extra dimensional wallet where we can all stick our hand in it, but it doesn't matter where it is. And actually, <laughs> on that note, I should probably do this before everyone buggers off. And I'm kind of just going to uh, gather the shadows around everyone and uh, you'll see little tethers kind of connecting everyone's shadow and I'm going to do telepathic bonds. Oh, that's cool. Probably good if we're going to be splitting up. Perfect. So do, do do we talk to us sword in this as well or? Yeah, probably. Everything is like horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's, so that's not even the bad part. Getting in Foss head? Never. Thou must live, die, and know. Can I block this number, please? <laughs> also, well, that is actually a wild magic search if you want to deal with that outside of combat. Oh my god, let's do it. I mean, we're in the middle of a city, so it could be interesting. I guess that's up to you. <laughs> Roll on the D10,000 table. Let's see if we... Uh, yeah, really the really dice are the dice. Go ahead and give me a D20 to see how uh, how big it is. 14. 14. So that's a nuisance. All right. New <laughs> Give me a D hundred. God damn it. Thirty-nine. Let's see here. It's, it's scary, scary to cast uh, magic. Your dexterity is increased by two for a minute. <laughs> okay. Hey. Well, nice. Um, right. Um, I know we did mention it just before the break. Is there anything that anybody specifically wants to sell? probably worth us getting out there now because it could depending on whether they're keeping the money from themselves or whether we're putting into the, the the party loot i don't care if you if you just do it in the abstract and keep the party loot and the party money and then you can figure out using it okay like uh, you don't we, need to divvy it up now we have a potion of longevity we could sell that for a fuck ton i'm sure uh, yeah probably okay do you want to um do you want to be in charge of that then selling okay. the potion of longevity we also um, have some fancy truffles uh, we got from the jungle. I'm oh, not. That's true. They probably they might be worth something. I'm not the persuasive type. I'm not gonna try right. to sell something. Austin, uh, persuasive. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll I'll try and sell. I mean, it. I can threaten some people. You'll buy these fucking truffles and you'll like them. <laughs> Give me money. Oh, we right. can do good cop bad cop if you want to. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I've got like some some like really crappy magic items like uh, the thermal cube and. Possibly the bag of tricks that we could probably get rid of. To be honest, <laughs> um, I have a bit so of refreshment. A... I've been saving for Bjorn. I'll just say that. I'm gonna but, say um, but the gods I mean, don't say, overpower yeah. it. I put it back in a party loot, but I think we should probably hang on to those. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, let's see how much gold we actually need, and we can sell as we need to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sure. All right, so uh, I guess to speed things along, or is there anything that either that, can we make a roll to see if there's anything interesting beyond just healing potions and stuff? Uh, yes. Uh, so how this is going to work is you're going to split up in any way you want to. Two teams, uh, three. I don't. I don't like. That's up to you. Um, you guys, I'm sorry. Two, two, two teams of three. That would be yeah, with Thoro being one of the three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I I want to take fast. I really, really do. That. <laughs> Oh, just so, Faust and Bjorn? Yes. Okay. Two big yeah. guys. What's, so what's the worst that could happen? Oh, yeah. Oh. The most inconspicuous. Oh, Keep we'll, take Fur we'll take Furrow then. <laughs> Keep in telepathic communication, please. No, Nongle's taking Furrow. Go with, uh, so it's uh, Nongle, Furrow, Ost, Torgan, and Bjorn and Faust. Does that sound fair? 
Sorry, what did you say? Nongol Fa Nongol um uh Nongol Furrow, Ost Torgan, Bjorn Fast. Oh so we do yeah, two so we do three groups of two. Let's see three groups of two. Okay, right. right. I'm just saying if you stumble upon any organs that could be worth some good coin, could be useful. That's all I'm saying. God Fast for Tidj of God. And then yeah, I'll hand all over right. the potion to uh Ost before I get take off. So how we're going to like this is the adventures uh, district, so you could find most of anything here. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a like basically give you a chance to find something. Uh, if there's something very specific you want to find, I might ask you for uh, a, 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 a a an investigation check, a similar to figure out where to go. I would be looking for. Let me find it. Yeah, you can figure that out uh, while uh, Bjorn and uh, Faust, what are you guys doing? Oh well, big guy, uh, which is strange to say. I usually don't walk together with some who are not my kind, but are almost as big as my kind. So, uh, where do you would like to go, uh, Bjorn? Uh, so, you see Faust. Uh, I, I, li I like your, your earlier thought about uh, uh, selling your, your trinkets. Uh, reminds me of a story uh, about uh, my best friend uh, called Theus. He once told yes, me the of, one of that a, you lost. He once told me of a man who could turn himself into a horse and uh, every day he would go to market and sell himself. Oh, are we looking to amass party funds by illegally selling organs? I don't know. I'm up for anything. Oh no, that, that might be a plan that we can pursue. But first of all, we might need a source of organs. That's why I asked for a so Like a place where the desperate gather, the lonely, those without any uh, affiliations. Bjorn tucks his uh, uh, arm around Faust. I think we're gonna be great friends. Of course. Yeah, you, you're dealing better with the loss of your best friend than I thought. Many times I've seen people lost in grief uh, through the five stages they went through. But you were already at a stage of acceptance, I assume. I don't know, I think you might be a kindred spirit in some sorts. And you know, I only have two stages of grief. When I cry and when I drink. And I'm at the drinking part, so this is great. That sounds very, a very good coping mechanism. So should we get those organs or what? Yeah, this, this sounds like a good idea. So we are looking for a place where the desperate, the lonely, and those without family or affiliation together. You're trying to harvest organs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bjorn, uh, can you can you read out your uh, your alignment to me real quick? Uh, GM, how uh, weird it is to uh, work in alignment. I am true <laughs> neutral. Mm. Super. All right. It's just like if you decided that Bjorn is good, I was just like, are you are you sure that he no, would no. want this? We are, we are trying to boost the the coffers of the party. Uh, I'm see. trying to make myself useful for the party, getting to get in their good graces. We are we will be working together for a long time, so I assume oh, that in my <laughs> you. So all right, I just want to make sure you want to. Go out, find some <laughs> unlucky people. <laughs> then you want to kill them and steal their kidneys, and then find someone to. No, no, we will give them so salvation. Bad. What? We will give them salvation first. We'll see if we, they can be converted. Go a better path in life. And if they don't, or they made the wrong decisions, maybe we should look for a criminal. <laughs> so, I have to stay serious here. I'm serious. Are, yeah, are you sure on this? Okay, we can. All right, I can. Uh, this is, this is not uh, if I expected. <clears throat> I'm playing fast as as true to character. This is what fast would do. <laughs> All right. So, how are you guys looking for for someone to be your target? Well, we uh, we heard of adventures who have lost 
Like I assume South Ventures might have lost their party while adventuring, or might have fallen to debt, might fall desperate. Not every uh, adventurer ends safely with a boss slain, a princess saved, some lose life and limp. So we are maybe looking for adventures, and adventures good, who are down on their luck. You're walking around on taverns to see people who are just thinking on their own and being sad? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and give me just a lock for the one targets. This is fucked up. This is really I'm fucked sorry, up. This, I have to play fast as... This is what would fast would do. I'm sorry. Sure, there's a, a, a bunch of these types of people. Uh, I'm you come into one, one. You come into one... Uh, one... Uh, um, uh, go ahead and uh, one of you just roll me a d12 as you go into uh, this fine... No, no, can now I... I'm telling you what's happening as you entering this tavern. And then, like, so your luck roll made this easy. So you're going into, uh, you're going into the, uh, the Eager Frog Tavern. The Eager Frog is a, it's kind of a, uh, a, a, a it's, it's a very sticky uh, establishment. A bunch of uh, people have just spilled their ale. It doesn't have really any floor. It's just like kind of sand and sawdust that has been thrown out. A bunch of people in here are, um, are, uh, are, uh, uh, are, are sitting and drinking. Uh, it has like a big rooms so and you see a big sign that says the Eagle Frog, the only centaur friendly uh, tavern in town. Mm. Uh, and you rolled an 11. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Jonas and Leon. All right, so you go in here. You, um, you, you quickly go to the bar. Uh, are, you, are you asking for anything or are you just looking around? Um, I'm looking around for, for, the de for someone desperate. Like, can I just look around? Like, you set my most... ears. You, no, see, like, look. you see, there's a bunch of, like, it, this is an adventure tearing, so you're seeing people playing cards. You're some people playing, like, a, a miniature game with dice. You see, uh, you see a, uh, a few people kind of uh, sitting alone, like uh, all being like uh, I'm rangers sitting and smoking, and as they puff on their, yeah, uh, um, uh, like, uh, so there are also people just crying into their beards. But what is mostly happening uh, inside uh, here, something that draws your attention, is a big crowd of people uh, just uh, uh, gathered around a big stone table. Uh, people are like kind of uh, just. Uh, just chanting for uh, for for, uh, for this guy. It looks like uh, a man is arm wrestling an ogre, and this guy is ridiculously like big. He is he looks like an '80s action figure. This guy is larger than Bjorn is. Uh, he's wearing like a pelt kind of uh, uh, loincloth. He has like a big X uh, 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 kind of uh, harness uh, over his uh, his his. Uh, his, uh, his, uh, his breast, and there's something that looks like a big kind of, uh, uh, what are those Aztec axes called? I remember. A, uh, uh, one, uh, uh, a, 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 a macho lethal or something like that. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm posting you guys something in the, uh, oh, in the yeah. chat here. As, uh, so <laughs> you guys can see what I'm talking about. What are these guys here? Mm. Um, people are just, uh, are just, uh, are just uh, uh, cheering uh, as, a, uh, as, as this man is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is arm wrestling this ogre here. Um, uh, I'm just, um, I'm just asking around. What happens if somebody dies during a tavern brawl? I assume he's, there are a lot of tavern brawls here, right? Like just asking someone. Uh, who are you just asking a rando? Yeah, well, barkeeper. Like, I, 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 I give the barkeeper one gold. And I was like, when somebody, like, I assume somebody might have an accident and die during a tavern brawl. What happens with them? Are most of them going uh, goes to Lady Margaret's hospital down the road? Well, and if they're already dead, is, uh, are the bodies, like, disposed somewhere or not? Uh, usually, uh, usually we try to kick, get people up before they die, but uh, uh, no, they go to the morgue. Like, where are you from? Don't you have morgues where you're from? 
Marks, what is Yeah, the watch will usually investigate anyone who's killed, even here. Oh, okay. Like it's... Uh, like, are they put into the graveyard first? No, no, no. First you have a, the morgue, then you have the murder investigation, and then when that's settled, then you'll have the, the funeral. Well, is everyone uh, being investigated? I assume there are some... Yeah, usually if like, someone is killed, then by, you know, like, yeah. Well, do they have a list of everyone who is in the city? No, 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 it's not like that, but it, it's, it's, I, you know, the watch has to have a presence for everybody, not to, to you know, disappear from here. Well, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, I'm just saying, you know, this is a weird conversation. What, why do you want to know that? Uh, I'm just here, uh, to, I would just want to stay safe. Uh, You're not some kind of uh, necromancer, are you? No, no, I'm not a necromancer. I'm just someone who's trying to stay safe in the city. Mm. And I want to make sure that I keep staying safe. So when somebody attacks me, I want to make sure that uh, justice is being dealt. Um, it's just some like back alley in the town. Like there are a lot of back alleys, I assume. Uh, as you as you're saying this, like you you lose the attention of the barkeep who's looking at the guy who's arm wrestling, and he, and he says, okay. "Holy fuck, he's <laughs> actually doing it! He's actually doing it!" Uh, Bjorn, how do you react to anything of this? I'm, I'm, I'm standing listening to uh, the conversation uh, between Faust and the, the barkeep. And, uh, uh, and, and then I, I of, of course, I, I uh, turn my attention towards uh, the, the man who is uh, doing the impossible and beating an ogre. And uh, as, you, as you look at that, then you see the ogre kind of straining until its arm breaks and, and it's, it is brought asunder and people, they cheer. And this man stands up. All right. Who is next? He looks around. I, I I have an idea, Faust. He points yeah, at you, 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 you are the dodger as well. Uh, okay, you can Bjorn, do uh, the arm wrestling with me. This, this okay, is my, Bjorn. This is my cue. This, yes. You, know, you rip his arm off and then we sell his arm. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This, this is perfect. Uh, All right, Bjorn. Do yeah, it. What's up, I, uh, I will. He, he uh, I will cast an. I will cast a large from Bjorn to make him more Sorry? intimidating. Uh, you see one of the adventurers in the crowd uh, kind of spells you like, NO CHEATING! Can you hear me, guys? Uh, yeah, what do you say? Uh, I, no, well, we, I do it outside, like, I don't assume, like, everybody's so I, watching so, us. So, so after the challenge, you go outside, he hide in the alley, then enlarge him and he comes back larger than he was just yeah. single. Yeah. <laughs> then, I go, then they go to dispel it. Like, these are wizards, dude. They, they know what's up. Hey, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, Jonas, what oh, are you saying? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, sorry. Um, so, uh, Bjorn, he, he turns uh, uh, to the guy arm wrestling. You picked well, uh, good sir. Uh, I'm, uh, of course, he's uh, an, an arm wrestler. I have a proposal for you, though. Uh, what is uh, a proposal? Bet, I bet to make this interesting. Okay, uh, we can do bet. What I, is your I, name, I, little man? Uh, my name is Bjarno. Okay, Bjarno. That is a kind of weird name, but okay. Yes. Um, I so... am Karn of the East and West, warlord of the Gigan Empire, crusher of small animal. I am Bjorn from the uh, south. Uh, you look, uh, he looks at, uh, okay, south, okay, cool, cool, all right. A crusher of bigger animal. Okay, you crush big animal. What biggest animal you crush, little man? Uh, whale. You crush the whale? <laughs> Dude, that sounds pretty bad. Whale. <laughs> I once crush a demon, once I crush, uh... Spider person? Did you see spider person before? It was spider wheel. Did you? Are you fucking with Karen right now? No, I want to make bet. Okay, so what this, is bet? This is uh, an acorn of. Uh, I'm sorry, his uh, name's Karn? Yes. Uh, this. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so this is an acorn of a magic tree. This is a ring from Skyrath. 
Ring of Jump. And uh, this is a potion of heroism. These can all be yours. Uh, all you have to put in the bed is your liver. What do you mean liver? The liver inside you. So, let me get this straight. You say, if I win, I take all of your magical items. If These three, yes. you win, then you get to cut me open and take one of my organs. No, no, no. You cut yourself open and give me your liver. That is a stupid bet. That is stupid bet. What do you want? My penis as well. No, uh, it depends on the size. Maybe it's very good to sell. Okay. You we guys are pretty use. weird, you know that, right? Uh, can you, we can yeah, bet. Yeah. I can bet magic item. I can bet magic item. I will bet with you. We have a uh, build of giant strength. I do not need. Puts it on the table. Okay. He doesn't have it equipped. <clears throat> Great. I just want to have some insight here. I can I look if he is using. Even the odds. I just want to say, uh, do I see something suspicious that is helping him as I have been counterspelled? Is there anyone suspicious helping uh, on Khan's side? I had to give me a perception or investigation role or something like that. Uh, perception, sure. That is a 23. Mm, Actually, it's, it's, it's sight based. Is it, is, it, is it hearing or sight based? I have advantage on that. Uh, I, I think it's you're taking a. A site inspection on him uh, with your iconic. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the advantage. No, because a lot of dons have like yeah. keen smelling and hearing, like just because I have big ears and good nose. Yeah, like, like I, I'll say you could get in that twenty. I should, I should go around. He, he's not, he's not wearing any magic items that increase his strength. <laughs> this, like, uh, uh, he, he doesn't have anything. Uh, you, you, you think they're pretty serious about the no cheating part? Well, ah. Uh... Bjorn, I assume you have it. I've seen uh, that you are a big guy, so just keep doing it. And if even if you fail, we just have to follow him in the back alley and then head our items back. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, belt, yes, I put up three things and you put up one. One yes. I can't use either. Well, I do not understand what you mean. Like. If you say that uh, Belt uh, only has the strength of a giant, I'm stronger than a giant. Okay, maybe if you think that, that's fine. You can uh, not bet. You can also just uh, do competition with me. Or you may be uh, little chicken. Boga boga. Faust, is, <laughs> the, is the Belt worth more than a liver? Ah, uh, no. It depends on the... State of the liver, uh, he seems to be drinking a lot, or so maybe this will decrease the liver's prices. And to say... mostly fermented horse milk, it's good. Do you want to try? Uh, I just give a good, quick medicine inspection. What does Faust medicine as <laughs> Faust knowledge as a doctor say about quality of his liver? Go, go ahead, give me a medicine check, I guess. 26. Like, he, he looks like a specimen in <laughs> peak physical condition. Uh, a good but, but but he do but, but you're pretty sure that like it, it, his organs probably are just waiting to just fucking say no we, it's done we will just uh, it's that his liver is not that uh, valuable I've seen better livers in my life um, and should look at the belt I should, I should look at the belt you see it's a belt of stone giant strength uh, okay this seems to be valuable enough. I assume you can go with a bet that might increase your strength a bit. Good. Uh, then let's uh, wrestle. You're right. Come on, to the stone table. People are getting oh, up again. Oh, pure no, pure no. Karn, Karn. People are chanting. They should both look very large. Um, so, how do you want to do this? Do you, uh, uh, is Bjorn just sitting down uh, and, uh, and, and playing, or what is... Uh... Bjorn is raging us. <laughs> Bjorn is uh, taking the the milk, goat's milk he was uh, offered. Uh, the horse milk, it's uh, fermented horse milk. Oh, horse milk. 
It's called Kumis. Yeah, it's very it's yummy. Mongolian. No, it's not. It's horrible. It's a, it's a, it's a Mongolian. <laughs> Have you tried it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, it's, it's fucking disgusting. However large the container is. Probably not as bad as Clam Dog, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> And then he rages. Right, so does he. As he sits down, okay, let's get into the zone. Uh, as, you, uh, as you sit down with him, and you're. So basically, what we're going to do is the first one to three successes will win. Oh, and it's, of course, contested rolls. So the first one who has three wins. All right. I am just making this guy here. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I have to do this real quick. Oh, that's the subclass features. That was not what I wanted to. Uh, this takes a, a second here. All right, so. Skip, skip, skip. Importing. All right. So. Uh, first round here. So if you go ahead and give me a, an athletics roll, we'll see. I like uh, to take... Uh... Maybe not disadvantage because I guess I get uh, advantage uh, when I'm raging in, in athletics. I like to take a normal role because while I'm doing the first uh, holding, I like to uh, take my dagger and uh, put it into the table so the, bla the, the sharp part of the blade is up on my side. So if I go down, I go into the blade just to to fuck with myself. All right, go ahead, give me an athletics and uh, I guess an intimidation versus yourself. Um, I also want to say something. I can flash my brilliance here. I can come up with a solution under enormous pressure. And this is not magical in nature, so no wizard would come up with something. Can I use my knowledge about the uh, human physique as I have dismantled a lot of bodies just to give Bjorn some tips how he should grip the hand? It's just screaming the shroud. There's no helping per se. So you, you want to use your, uh, your flash, flash of genius? genius? Yeah, artificer. As an intelligence modifier. I, I can come modifier up with... Anyone's yeah. I can come up with solutions. Or to problems or under, throws, under pressure, yeah. and it's not magical. It's just like me coming up with some solution that I can shout beyond. Sure, sure, I'll let you do that. Yeah, it's not magical. It's just like me being smart Flash and wise about sub this. Badge? What is the sub? -badge? I renamed. I, I renamed some things. So, so he is, will is with my face at thirty here. Okay, I will also. So uh, uh, no, you you already did your things here on your side. Was well, reaction? Yeah, but you already used your reaction here, and Bjorn, you got a twenty-three. Plus, yes. what's your wisdom modifier? Uh, plus five. So, so that means is... that's one one win for uh, one W for Khan here. Yeah. As you, you uh, you <laughs> may, maybe it's a, it's the focus. Maybe like a, it feels like you're getting some help from from Faust, um, but in the rush to kind of get in on it, you. You are already lagging behind. This guy is monstrously strong. Maybe How a little close stronger than am you. I to yeah. the blade I just put in. Uh, you may like a. Maybe if you do so like this glance. two times again, then then you're there. Like okay. so when you have three failures, then you know. Then you're there. <laughs> okay, is this the Perfect. next round? I, I, I'll, I'll go again. That's the next uh, round. All right. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I'll I just go it's, straight up. It's, it's a reaction, so I can keep doing it every round. Yeah. I'll keep, I'll keep doing it. Right. Anything else? No. 
Right, so you're at 21. He rolls with advantage here because he's raging. So that's a oh 17. You managed to to uh, to kind of regain some of your um, your, uh, your your ground as you refocus. Okay, not so easy to get you down as I thought, little man. He says as you, he looks you in the eye. Uh, I would like to uh, create um, uh, like a snowy uh, atmosphere around the room. Um, uh, and anyone who leaves the area, I will uh, uh, use my uh, winter's grasp to punish them for looking away for this fight. I love it. As uh, as uh, uh, snow uh, <laughs> starts appearing in my eyes and ice storms to form in my beard, I would like to go again. The oh, honor of the south, you <laughs> say. Mm. <laughs> right. Well, Man, if you go far enough, so you have to take it the side <laughs> of the go, go ahead and use your resources then, please. Yeah, I have five times that I can use. Yeah, yeah, but, but that might be relevant later. So, well, you you know, use your side of maximum. You heard the music. Uh, the music plays as one uh, as a as, as a guy. He's like a slender half elf with like a very thin mustache. We get to uh, to go up and uh, and cheer on Khan. Oh Khan, remember, there's no one as masculine and as inspiring as you are. I know, stupid song which I don't want to listen all the time. <laughs> um, uh, as he gets some inspiration from his friend there, he does need it, looks like. But uh, sort of, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he used it because then he'll win this round. Yeah, so we're back. At so he wins now. by one. He has two wounds against your one there. Is anyone turning away from the table? Because they probably die. <laughs> uh, well, go ahead and give me a, adventures, right? Go ahead and give me a performance uh, roll. We'll add up with Khan's performance roll of uh, 19. You get advantage to yours as well. Two. All right, so 21. People are chatting for Khan. Khan, Khan, Khan. <laughs> they don't give you shit about you. <laughs> hey, hey, this knife. Give him his knife. The crowd is chanting. I'm not I'm saying like that you to... should use this, Jonas, but uh, the um, you do have player inspiration, right? Remember. Sure. Okay, you're going down. You're almost like you, you you can you can you can begin to feel the metal of the uh, of the blade. Khan will end you, little man. Yes. <laughs> end me, please. Nineteen. Like so that's twenty-four. Go ahead and reel that. Then. That's a straight roll this time. Oh Eight. <laughs> All right, my roll on that one. He has a vanish on this roll. That's a thirteen. As you manage to ah, just, just, uh, just completely uh, throw it back. He is uh, your back, like both of you are wearing, like both of you are sweating profusely. The sweat, because it's in within your aura of cold, it is, uh, it is, uh, everything is like turning into small snow in the area. As, uh, as, you're, as you're staring each other down, any last words, little man? Fuck your butt! Oh, you will fuck me later! Beautiful Khan, beautiful Khan, your fine cloth, it is so sweaty and makes me push. As he inspires Khan once again. So this is uh, potentially the last one? It is the last one. The next one who wins gets it. Two to two. That's a net 20. It's 25. You're at, you're at 35. Let's see what happens to him here. 28. He has a D8. If he rolls a an, a seven, you go you redo the roll so because then you're equal. Uh, now here's 28. Oh, I have to turn this down again here. Yeah. So he has uh, he has a 20. So he if he rolls a seven, you're equal and you re-roll the round. If he rolls an eight, he wins. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I can use. Can we use your inspiration to give him this advantage? I can. I can do it. I have the inspiration. 
I will say this has happened. Uh, you could have used uh, inspiration to let Jonas reroll, but you can't. You can't. You can't use. Oh, it's already natural twenty, yeah. Yeah, but you can't use. You can't use your inspiration to make me reroll anything. I let okay. the knife slowly pierce my own hand, so he has to pierce his own as well ah, to ah. follow through. He follows through. He's I, he's, I he's out of breath. I push forward the things. I spit on the table. Faust, we are out of here. This is no good damn place to be. I grab a drink from a table and then I storm out. I look towards the bar. You're going to a better place at some points. What do you mean? We are all going to the better place. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that was fantastic, bro. <laughs> I removed the stuff. That sucks. That was so <laughs> fucking close. You had literally, like, if that's I have rolled. Dice. Yeah, that's it's. The that's the winner of the dice here. This is what a shopping session should be. Yeah. <laughs> but what is your name? Uh, oh, did I said I, I said something didn't I? Uh, let me find the dumb name. Uh, my name. I'm I'm a Stanhope, the beautiful violinist. And you are my elephant friend. Let me ask you something. How many uses does that trunk come with? I can make you one if so it's needed. I can make some parts. But Stanhope, you will arrive pretty soon to salvation, I so. Oh, are you asking me upstairs? I leave. I write his name down on my list. Gone and me are gone. <laughs> you write him yes. down, alright. That sucks, uh, that sucks, that sucks, Bjorn. That's how it is. Name's the dice. Name's the so dice! That's how it, that's how it play goes. Play D&D, baby! Bjorn, the Twitching Council will bring judgment. Don't you worry. They will find salvation. We leave. You can do it with the others then. Our organ harvesting can continue on another date. Maybe we will see that your current frustration is quelled. You said that you have different stages of grief. So we will, should continue the stage of drinking, I assume. I will uh, spend 10 gold to give him just a good drinking session. Like for 10 gold, as much as you can. 10 gold can get you a very hammer. Okay. You can but put remember, kids, guys. passing out in the alley is free. <laughs> yes. And if you pass out, you get your organs harvested by force. For free. For free. For free. For free. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm gonna have to with ice cubes. All right, that was fun. Uh, so Torgan and uh, I mean, how do, you, was... how do you follow that up? That right, so we're just doing shop. a completely normal shopping trip, right? That was the plan. Completely normal, just in and out, twenty minutes. No, no, no shenanigans. Plans. No shenanigans. Uh, what, what are you actually looking for? You want so. Know? Uh, I spotted some things on the way past, um, which Raw mentioned, uh, so I want to just check the prices on those and perhaps peruse. Uh, he mentioned hallucinogenic powder. I definitely yeah. want to take that. Yeah, alright, that's, uh... I have to try to translate this. Hey, I was about to say... Yeah, dude, it's like 20 gold for one dose, it's fine. It's great. Don't take too much. You might not wake up again. It's great. I, I mean, uh, you can only use it on enemies like uh, maybe uh, whites or uh, goblins or uh, something else lurking in the. Don't don't use it recreationally. He winks at you. Okay. Um, if it's all right with everybody, I'm gonna buy two doses of that. Forty gold. Uh, I also, in the meantime, I want to offload my thermal cube. At the very least, uh, I don't know how much I can get for a thermal cube. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll try and find some people that look like they're destined for a cl for a colder climb. <laughs> to sell it to. Uh, there is a uh, there's a uh, uh, adventurous pawn shop. Excellent, that'll do. Um, 
Yeah, I'll uh, I'll walk in. Just you come uh... in. There's just so many magazines. Oh, oh, it's the wrong kind of porn. Nah. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm taking no, this. Uh, uh, then I'll go. Uh, um, <laughs> you come in. There's just like a dwarf with like a um. He has like a big hat with a bunch of. Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, um, just like uh, stove pipe stoves, stove pipes. I don't know. Does that make sense? No. Yes. Yes. Going out, out of his head. Just a bunch of uh, chimneys going out of his head. It's really weird. Hmm. Wait, is this in the porn one or the other one? No, this is uh, in the in the in, in the porn store. P A W N. Okay. Um. Uh. Hello. Sir. Or madam. Hey. Um. Hello. I'd like to. I'd like to offload some of my uh, accoutrement. All right. Really so, just before we get into any fucking business, what the hell is going on up here? Oh, it's uh, it's a head of heating. It heats me head. <laughs> Convenient. Yep. You put in coal, it heats it up. It's, uh, and it, you can also, if you uh, put on a sandwich, you can warm it up for you. Interesting. Yep. I happen to have uh, something of a similar nature that perhaps you'd be interested in. Oh, very well. Oh. What, uh, why do you want me to... I'll pop down the thermal cube on the, uh, on the counter. Oh, uh, that's cute. Uh, sure, right, I can pay you for that. Uh, it's, uh, alright, I can give you, uh, give you a 20 gold for it. Can I try to get a read on if this guy is legit or if this I, is... I mean, I'm guy. fairly sure it's a pretty common item. <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah. he's, it's probably the going price. Tell you what, I'll hold on to this. Um, what about this uh, bag um, of tricks? Oh, cool. Which color is it? Rust. Oh, the rust one. There, yeah, it's. Uh... Give me a. Just roll me a d20. Sure. Uh, Was that the one we got a pig out of? <laughs> yes, we did previously get a pig out of it. But... Oh, those are those are pretty rare, actually. I'll give you. I'll give you. Uh... You know what? We'll give you 350 for it. Done. There you go. Thank you, sir. He puts it uh, up. He has like a he has like a, a, a place with, with the bags of uh, of uh, of tricks, and uh, and you see he has a gray one and a tan one, and then he puts the like the red the red one up. Oh, perfect. Nice. The whole set, and he puts up a sign like all three for two thousand or something. I also happen to have this potion of longevity. What? Which I was told about by Nongle, but I don't recall ever getting it. <laughs> no, I had it. It's you. I got it. Okay. I um, it to you because you got to get a good value for it. Better than I could. Yes. Um, a potion of longevity, which I. Alex doesn't know what that means. Uh, uh, potion of longevity of means that. Uh, uh, when you drink it, your here. physical age is reduced. Oh, uh, yes. you know, six, six years? Yeah, your actual age is reduced. Jump closer here. Now, obviously, yourself would be in no need of this, uh, being such a fine figure of a fellow, but. um. Are you asking me upstairs? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm afraid. Sorry, not. Uh, uh... So it's just empty flattery to give me to give me to give you more money. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. Yes, 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 yes. Right, that's part of the business. Come on. Now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. see, yes, see, yes. uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I run a pawn shop. You know. I'm afraid I'm, I'm here for business, not pleasure. I see. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, uh, come on. Uh, can you can you please? Uh, would you mind if I identified it? I don't want any counterfeit potions in here. Go ahead. All right. Uh, he uh, he puts it down on the like there's like a table. It's like a nice marble kind of uh, tile. Puts it up on and then he puts like a, a, a black box. Uh, and the box is like made of looks like it's made of cardboard and like there's some holes stuck in the in the top of it. And just all right, it's your turn. Come on, let's go. And you see like an imp kind of crawls out of the the shoe box. Oh, okay, the oh, pasta. Do you want me to identify this? Or... Yes, come on, do it. Uh, like the uh, the imp cast identify on it. Uh, it is indeed a uh, potion of longevity. Sire. Right, back in the box. We don't want the uh, the. Oh, wait, wait, to, uh, wait, 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 wait. While he's out of the to look at you. <laughs> while he's out of the box, I also have something that might, you might want to identify. It's, would you be interested in this? And I'll hold up the uh, ring of protection. Uh. Sure. Uh, put it down here. I did a vine as well. Yeah, uh, the imp the, the very nervously looks. Uh, okay. Um. How? Uh, he. I guess I did a vine. Who looks at it? Uh, his eyes kind of 
becomes yellow. Yes, yes, sire, it is a ring of protection. Can I please go back in the box now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go down and get back in the box. All right, sure. The potion, don't get those too often. It's very awesome. rare, uh, very rare, I would say. Uh... 10, 10k. Can't go ahead. 10k? 10,000 gold. Um, Would you rather have I give you platinum pillows instead? Yes, please. Right. Um, and um, and the uh, the ring? Oh, yeah, the ring there? Uh, I can give you a thousand for that, too. Call it 12, you've got a deal. Uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion. Cool. I, I will use my... Uh, Fucking ability that I can't remember the name of. Uh, da, da, da. The uh, like emissary of peace com or something. Com uh, com Commanding presence. presence. Commanding I will use my presence. Command presence, uh, which means I can add my uh, superiority die onto this. Uh, God, that's only a three. Okay, and this is a persuasion. Right? Yeah. Oh my God, I don't have proficiency in this. That's a dirty twenty. Jesus, there that's you go. Three. So twenty twenty three. All right, all right, all right. 10,000 for the potion might be a little... No, I... I right, 12. We're going to agree on 12. And the ring, I'll keep that at 1,000, so I can give you a 13 and a, a 4 of it. Oh, that was more than you guys. Yep, that sounds yes, like yes. That. Yep, that sounds good. Somewhere you, you Noggle, Noggle deal. feels a disturbance yeah, in the forest. Yeah, knows... somewhere... It, we're in Telepathic Bottom. We're not using it for some reason, and, and Noggle, <laughs> Noggle gets, like... He gets a nosebleed. We could have <laughs> sold that for Wait, 10 did, times did we, that did much. We... Really? <laughs> oh, Yeah. Dude, you're giving life back to someone. You can give this to an old king that's dying about on his rule, and you could give him back years of his rule. But it's no, it's it's it, it's cool. Twelve thousand it, it, is a lot of coin. That's the, that's that's, that's the most money we've ever had in this campaign. So yeah, yeah. Okay, but, uh, yes, uh, it's a deal. I mean, so that's no and you will have words. When we get back together, give you a bunch of uh, a bunch of platinum stacks. Just it, it, it's all right. It, I've got a um, I've got a reputation for uh, just really ruining your magical items, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> you prick, you do too. Um, tell you what, uh, let's look at what you might have on offer, um, as well. Sure, sure. All right, I have a bunch of uh, random magic item. Generator 5B. Let's oh, go. It, it actually says random magic items on the counter. That's that's strange. Goodness. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so what are we looking for? What price range? Uh, Thirteen thousand. <laughs> like. uh, anything under thirteen thousand three hundred and fifty gold pieces? I see. All right. I have this. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, it takes up like a big silver kind of box all with right. a few items in it. All right, I have here a ring of counter spells. That's pretty nifty. Uh, ring of counter spells, if you know it, uh, it lets you. Uh... Is that a, a real item, or is it something uh, that's just in this magic? Uh... Uh, it's not on DNA Beyond. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see here. Ring of counter spells. Oh, let's yeah. see here. Items. I'm assuming it's just a ring of spell storing with a couple yeah, of yeah. spells in or something like that. Uh, okay, so I'll just uh, put it in here because it's apparently a D20 SRD item, which this uh, random generator I used uh, use. Huh? So I'll just post it in here. So my ring seems to be a ring of spell storing. However, while it allows a single spell first through sixth level to be cast onto it, that spell cannot be cast out of the ring again. Instead, should that spell ever be cast upon the wearer, the spell is immediately countered as a counter spell action, requiring no action or even knowledge on the various part. Uh, but I will say that uh, this is not just that spell. So you can put in, uh, you can put in up to six spell levels in the ring, and it will mm -hmm. automatically counter spell up to six spell levels of spells cast on you. I will telepathically relay this to uh, to Nongle, whatever he's doing right now. Go, uh, any good? <laughs> Yeah, we actually we, we have a lot of coin. We made a good deal, so we mm, might want to spend yeah. some of it. Yeah, hang on. Uh, 
to be cast uh, it, into it, it. The spell cannot be cast out of the ring once so used. The spell cast. No, 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 no. I mean, don't, don't. I'll, I'm doing this because I, I, it, it's going to also apply a counter spell for X uh, for up to six levels of magic. Yeah. Uh, no. As far as the ring reads, this has to be exactly that spell that is put in. No, 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 but I'm changing it. Yeah, yeah so, you, so you, when you have the ring on, requires attunement and can counter spells up to six levels of spells. Yeah. No. Okay, um, anything else? <laughs> we, sure. uh, we're, we're, we're good for counter spells. The voice in my head is not interested. Uh... I can, I can spam counter spell, um, without an attunement slot and do better than six level right so it's cool. it's, yeah. it's not the, the dice aren't on our side for that right now that would be fantastic That's for fair. lower level but not at, not at our level all right i have this uh uh let's see uh i have uh, the set of bag of tricks i don't think you want those no, thanks no they look familiar uh the this one, looks one nice. here is probably too yeah that no that you don't have the money for that he puts away like a big like a bell that just crackles with the clouds and lightning. Um, a sphere of annihilation? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, let, let me tell you, he didn't just put that away. <laughs> no. He puts it in a portal hole and just the entire, the entire room disappears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, have the, uh, I have the Crystalline Chronicle here, but I don't think you can afford that either. Let's see. Uh, I have a uh, figurine of wondrous power with the owl in it. We have one with a gelatinous cube in it right now. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so probably all right. Uh, can't, can't I have uh, a necklace of prayer beads with five beads on it. Uh, push of climbing, push of fire breath, uh, push of frost shine strength. Let's see. You got? Of... You got any uh, beads of force in them? Beads of force. Uh, roll me a d20. Nine. Uh, feet of fours, I'm just checking here. It's a fireball. Nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a fireball. fireball. Yeah. Notice. Yeah. Uh, nah, sorry, I just sold uh, the last one for uh, yeah, uh, this uh, uh, weird, uh, weird bad person. Yeah. At last. <laughs> um, the let's see. What else do you got? You have a cube of force, though. Cube of force. I can't let. I was reading up about Cuba Forces earlier, and I don't know whether that's worth it. They've got a weird, like, mechanic on them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Intercross. Da -da -da. It's an action press while the cube's expending number of charges. Um. I also have a ring of X-ray vision, but uh, I have to tell you that you will be arrested if you bring that into the baths. Why would you bring it in the baths? There, everybody's already got their clothes off. Yeah, well, you, you know how people are. Fair enough. Uh, whilst we're looking for that, I also, um, and I don't know whether this is the place for it. It might be somewhere else that I'm looking for. I'm in the, um, I'm in the market for some mithril armor. I don't know about uh, Torgon. You said you were in the market for some armor as well. Is that correct? I mean, no offense, but I think I'm interested in a smith, not whatever this is. Ah, okay. But yes. Uh, um, go ahead and give me a d20. Sure. God, that's an eight. No. I have a, I only have this uh, child-sized uh, mithril chainmail. Never mind. Well, well, well that might have <laughs> If you consider it elven, or like, is it non proficient yeah, sure. mail? Yeah, sure. It would probably fit in Ogle. Is that an achievement one, though? No. Oh, yeah, elven chain is not. No. Uh, how much for the uh, the elven chain? Uh, this one here, uh, let's see. Uh, it's made by uh, uh, 4,000. And it increased my armor class by three? That's what Elven Chain would do. Then yes. I think Elven Chain. Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, the, the Elven Chain is uh, so it's, a, it's pl plus it's... Dex plus one. All right. Yeah. So basically, that's a first level spell slot for me because I can just cast Mage Armory at the same effect. 
So no, not well, worth. You would get fourteen um, plus dex plus zero. I don't have dex. All right, well, so, yeah, so, so I would, would get, I would get 13, thirteen regardless, right? But um, yeah, and this would give you fourteen. But yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, this would be. Oh, this could be fourteen. It's plus one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, is that still worth four gra four thousand gold for one AC? Not necessarily. Well, it's one AC and an extra first level spell slot, right? True. So, I mean, and that's an extra healing word. I mean, your call. I mean, if you want to radio well, no, novel, I'll tell you his opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's what. That's, I'm, I'm, well, I'm oh, putting well, it in. Oh. What do you think, Dongle? I mean, this is up to you. Is it worth the entire amount of the Shire? Up. I'm kidding. I don't want it. Why don't I? No, I like my robes. I'm fine. Right, fine. Um, what sir, did you do with my potion? A... <laughs> sir, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, Hello. However, I think we'll. Um, I, I think we'll. Bye bye. Um, I think we'll uh, we'll leave you uh, be for now. Um, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, you've been uh, most accommodating. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Good to be so fucking rich. All right. Uh, I should leave. Uh, anything else you're looking for, guys? Uh, hang on. What was the cube of force worth? Uh, cube of Force. Uh, cube of Force is also 4,000. Um, if you guys message Nongo about the Cube of Force, I mean, that's a steal. It is a tomb, though, right? I give yes. a shit. It's been five, well, we got 36 charges. It regenerates 1d20 every, uh, every day. And you can basically... Use five charges. Nothing can pass through the barrier. Walls, floors, and ceilings can't pass through at your discretion, right? I mean, you can do whatever you want with this thing. The cube of force is pretty, pretty potent. Okay. Um, I'll pop by just as we get to the door. Actually, you know what? That cube of force does seem, um, does does seem like a a, a good option for us. Um, it is a tiny bit pricey though. Uh, perhaps you'd go to uh, thirty five hundred. Give me a persuasion. Tell you what, just 4k. Yeah, yeah thank you Before very much. Before he even yeah, says anything. <laughs> just for the look on his face. Okay, so we have... Right, yeah, we right, basically have an anti... These, uh, potions of long ebony, all right? Yeah, we have an anti-magic field that we can use, uh, what, nine times? For an attunement slot. That's pretty do That's pretty decent, right? Cool. So it was uh, 12,000 for the potion and 1,000 So we range. have 9,350 we've made out of that. Cool. I, a good deal. I, I say a good deal. So do I. Um, any, so, anyone could uh, attune to the cube, of course. So it doesn't. The wizard doesn't. True. Yeah. It. So we have uh, fourteen oh five plus. I'm um, crap at maths. We have ten thousand seven hundred and fifty-five gold right now. Not too shabby. So yeah, you want to go to a um, an armorer? Is that correct? Yeah, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm at least interested in hearing some prices. What are you looking yep. for, my friend? I have one question. First, you mentioned hardcover. Would I know the properties of hardcover on armor? Hardcover, yes. Go ahead and give me, no, you're, yeah, go ahead and give me a history roll with advantage because let's see if you've forgotten in hell or not. It, it's been quite a few years. And you, if you aren't a... Uh, uh... 20. I am proficient because of the yeah. pet. Twenty. An armor, uh, hardcover armor, uh, gives you resistance to psychic damage. That's quite good. Not a lot of things give you resistance. Uh, and, and also, uh, and also makes it impossible for anyone to, to, uh, to, to psychically uh, interfere with you. So if someone cast the tele uh, telekinesis, they couldn't lift you. So it makes you psychically void. Does that make sense? Does that mean also things like it's like scrying? mind blank light, kind of? I, I wouldn't say that it makes you immune to scrying, but it would give them disadvantage. So everything that's like kind of psychic, uh, uh, enchantment uh, effects, uh, or divination. Uh, effects. No, 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 uh, telepathic, more, more kind of. Uh, okay. So not necessarily magic, but more uh, uh, psychic uh, mind flare things, for instance. It's copper. 
Harder copper. Ha I'm still so it's not aluminium foil. <laughs> hard as in the organs that you're interested in. Hard copper, yeah. Oh, obviously in hard. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, it's really hard copper. <laughs> Well, you see, the reason I'm quite interested in this is this thing is actually made of the same material, and Tom will tap his uh, uh, rear wristbands that, that produces the blades when he's in combat. Oh, interesting. I don't really particularly wear um, a whole lot. I was more just curious that it might be something for one of you other folks. I could do with a better shield, though. Certainly. I mean, yeah, keep an eye out. You know, we've got the money for it if you want to pick one up. Um, I know I looked for the Mithril armor in that pawn shop i know but they were mentioning it on the way past when they mentioned high, uh, heart copper earlier can i take another look just in these vendors uh, sure um, or, uh, 15. sure you can find a set of hard copper armor i'm going to tell you right now that uh, normally a, a plus one armor is rare mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or, a, or a mithril plus one armor would be rare right yeah so uh, I'm going to say that uh, this is the same, but it's going to have a 50% markup on the price. So um, what about because just it's... a just a standard Mithril armor? Uh, that would be uncommon. Okay, because basically so... I'm I'm looking for either um, Mithril half plate or scale mail. I just want something that's heavier, but I don't have this advantage on stealth. Mithril half plate uh, would be. Uh, you could probably find that for uh, either that maximum six or breastplate plus one will be the same thing. True. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, and, and both of those would run you maybe 500, 600 gold. If you wanted a hard copper uh, plus one uh, breastplate, that would run you 6,000. Okay, that's a bit, that's uh, a bit yeah. spicy. Um,. But it does all of that without attunement. I will remind you. It's pretty good. It is. What do you reckon? I mean, to I the party in general. I think we'll, we should take anything we can get, right? It's better to yeah, get something you, practical than sitting on the gold. for plus one armor class that doesn't require attunement. Freaking hook it up, baby. I mean, it's only plus one, but I mean... Oh, uh, but I will also tell you the the hard copper armor. I will only allow you to buy plus one. You have to you have to pay out the note for it. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, plus yeah. one armor has five hundred GP. I mean, that's a no brainer, right? No, it's no, no. no. The, the plus one hard copper armor will be six thousand. Oh, yeah, 6, but the plus thousand. one. But the plus yeah. one mithril breastplate. Uh, uh, mithril breastplate will be five thousand, maybe. The okay. Straight oh, okay. mithril breastplate or straight mithril like a straight straight mithril half plate. Will run you uh, five hundred people. Uh, I I don't really have a ton that like I'm happy with the cube I, I of mean, force during I, this shopping yeah. session. Austin, if uh, you want to fucking spoil yourself, do it. I'm like, just you, thinking at this dude, point you get, in the you campaign, get the, you get the piss kicked out of you constantly, right? But let's, at this point in the campaign, I don't know whether I, I don't know whether AC is going to make a difference. It's more the health, isn't it, for me? <laughs> but um. I could, go for, the I could go for the heart copper. Oh, okay. The only the only thing with the heart copper is it doesn't. Yeah, if I go for the half half copper breastplate, I guess heart copper rather. I mean, all I'm saying is hard copper is a real nice material. I would recommend it. I think it would um, it would do you nicely. Fuck it, we've made some gold. Um, yeah, if we yeah, I'll try and go. Um, yeah, sort of negotiate a hard heart copper breastplate. In that case. All right, so. Uh, you you all around and you find like a dwarven forge. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh, go ahead and roll me a d twenty as you go in there, Tolan. All right. So all right, that's fine. Uh, as you go inside, uh, you see like it's a. This is a, This is a Evans Emporium. And it's uh, it's beautiful. You see a bunch of dwarves are working. Uh, this is like kind of a performance shop, so everybody's like making and polishing their armors up front, and so it's like somewhere where you can see how 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 the uh, how the sausage is made, basically. Mm -hmm. I see this beautiful hard copper armor. Hard copper is basically uh, imagine copper, but just more red. And more and more strong. You, it's very, very uh, rare material that that you know uh, either 
it's very uh, like shields shields uh, people from a uh, from psychic uh, from psychic uh, uh, kind of abilities or enhances already existing uh, psychic or sometimes arcane abilities. Oh dang! All right, you want to buy this, lady? That I do. This one here, he points at the, uh, the half plate. Run you 6,000. The breastplate? The breastplates will. Uh, uh, you can get that for 450. Uh, for 4,500. Okay. And is that. Sorry, was that, a pl was that a plus one as standard or is the plus one yeah, extra? Plus, uh, yeah, that's magically enhanced. You see the runes here. Hmm. I'll take the breastplate. All right. You get the hard copper breastplate plus one. So that's four and a half thousand. Is that correct? Four and a half thousand, yeah. Okay. Can I tell based on my experience, like how competent does this myth seem to be? Like looking it looks at like your shield. Do you want a shield to go with that? Yeah, he's. He looks like the the items in here are top top tier. Yeah, you you want a you want a shield, Tolkien? I, I would be quite interested, either in if you have one lying around, or if you could possibly upgrade this one, and Tolkien will kind of hold up his arcane rune covered arm. Oh. Last time I saw this was uh, some of those sailors. Yeah, I've been wanting to have a god that. You know what? Normally I would charge you maybe two, three thousand gold to upgrade something like this. I'll do it for 1500. But only because I really want to see how this works. Fifteen hundred. I think that will upgrade it from a deal. plus one to a plus two. You know, I respect the craft. I say, let's. You know I what? Say... You know what? If you let me upgrade it, I'd even make one for your friend as well. He puts it all five thousand. For the both. I say, pay the man. That was good. It's a good deal. So that's another 5k on top of the one I've, top of the four yeah. and a half I've just spent. And then you get two plus two shields. Fucking sure, Jesus. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so that's um, nine and a half grand. Yep. All right. Total. Come back tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll see if I have these ready. Also, this is more of a um, professional curiosity. This is not something I'm necessarily in the market for. Would you know of anyone who is capable of potentially working with this piece? And I'll hold up the void band. Uh, oh, the uh, the armband of the yeah, void. The, the hard band, hard cover uh, void band. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, not not here. Uh, maybe if you go down to Nuratha, but uh, we'll be able to help you out there. Um, I it's the uh, the uh, um, the umbrella smithery. Might be able to help you with that. No. Thank, thank you for the information anyway. One small request. Yep. Once you're done with the breastplate and the shield, buy one. Leave them out in the open air. I want to get nice patina going on them as early as possible. Oh, yeah, you have a cool green thing going on. Oh, sure. Thank we you. Add, if you want me to, like, we can polish it up with some green tin. Oh, hell yeah. I can provide you some green dust if you need it. Oh, sure, yeah. It'll run you fine so gold, but uh, do you want stripes on it too? No stripes. All right. Just green. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll take five gold for that. Are we ready, uh, ready tomorrow, t tomorrow evening? You can go pick it up. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend to understand fancy fancy looks. Just just if you can I'll... make this more useful, that's all I ask for. Sure. I'll pay the five gold on my own. All right. So, Nongo and as we are going on, we are running quickly out of time here, guys. Uh, Nongo and Furo, you it's... wanted to look for uh, a grimoire. Uh, yeah. Uh, this grimoire is just, it's in Tasha's. It uh, basically, uh, yeah, two minutes increases does. your, yeah, okay, you know it does. Perfectly. Uh, what did you make the map for? Uh, I made it in Incarnate. Uh, Perfect, first of you. all, I made it in the uh, in the city uh, generator from Watabao. Watabao is a very good uh, resource uh, um, uh, that you can just just make uh, a generated city like this. And then I took that picture and I put it into Incarnate and uh, put all the other stuff on top of that. Perfect. Oh, cool. 
very neat. Thank you. Um, as uh, all right, so go ahead and give me an investigation roll to find somewhere. No, 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 no. Uh, as if you're going to ruin anything ridiculous here. Uh, investigation. Oh god, I'm like, why well, don't I have proficiency in that? I was, I had furrow sheet open. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wizard, I don't have that. Uh, Twenty-three. This ferret can't punch shit. You, uh, you go, uh, you, you find a street where it's mostly road people drinking wine. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we should uh, go somewhere else uh, where there's no more of these uh, wizards everywhere. Must, uh, must you know? uh, well, but, but maybe I tell you then, Furo, um, if you could find something that I'm looking for, I'll, um, I'll whisper in your ear if possible. I also have another idea if you would hear. Uh, listen to you. Takes out a very long trench coat. Okay, so I get on top of your shoulders. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you can get on top of mine. It's fine. It is fine. Maybe, actually, maybe you should. Uh, All right, come on. Get on top of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. A third and a gnome in a, in a trench coat. You walk very unsteadily <laughs> down the road. <laughs> um... <laughs> I love this. Image. It is very dumb. As you get to, uh, you go ahead and you get to a uh, a, a very beautiful, um, uh, a very beautiful uh, looking arcane shop that's called uh, Rachel's Bibliotheca. Don't I Esther? Shall we go in? Okay, which way is it? This way. Okay. You're twisting the trigger. Okay. All right, this way. This way. I am a very good balance. Hello there. Like, like if if God if if not only what Goth was, this would be it. Like a raven-haired, fishnet arm, stockings, raven black dress, completely pale woman. Uh, heavy makeup. Uh, uh, she has two kind of ravens just sitting uh, eerily up in one corner, just cawing as you come in. Oh, hello uh, there. I, I'm, I'm in the, 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 looking for specific magical items. <clears throat> and I put my hand on my hip and then realize that that's not the hip where it's supposed to be, and I like kind of roll the sleeves up, make myself arms look a little bit longer, and like <laughs> very nervously. Are you sure you're old enough to uh, the two of you old enough to uh, to shut here? The who? It's just me. Go ahead and get me a deception roll. Fuck sakes. About 15. You know what? I'm not going to ask. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking for magical tomes, um, magical stones, and magical ink. Okay. Magical stuff. I, th I assume I would assume that I did take magic up, and it's probably radiant. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, bunch yeah. of shit. So I, I see you have many things to choose from, um, but before I search around, I only have a little bit you of time. You know what? I have a, I have a question, but it's mostly out of curiosity at this point. Very well. Um, so... You're not out here looking for swords that cut good, or potions that make your cuts go away. Seems to me like you're not uh, one of the dumb brutes that usually frequent these parts. Uh, it's... So most of the people who want arcane tomes and no, grimoires I'm, I'm, I'm and these kind of that. things. Simple potions yeah. are, well, no, no, around that, this place it's, it's, is I'm, fantastic. We don't need this. Excuse me, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not judging anyone here. Right. Trying to get anyone in trouble. I'm just asking, why are you not at, buying these kind of things in official kind of stores? Official? Yeah, you know. You, you see, pillar, I can. I, pillar I, I, Emporium, I, I, supplies. Let's just say that I can uh, sense of. Um, I'm looking for things that are off the beaten path. Maybe shops that are um, overlooked, per se. And this seems like a good place to look. I well, don't give want me a perception basic, wrong. Uh, 
perception. Uh, passive yeah. is 22, but 17. Yeah. We'll say that you have a 22 minimum. As you're saying this, and you're like, like you're getting asked these like intrusive questions, Noggle, as an observant alert person, begins to dart around. You see there's a fine line of salt everywhere in the windowsills and, you know, around the doors. Oh, shit. And you see, and you see a bunch of arcane warding rooms everywhere. Can I make a check to see if those are Just salt hidden. lines to outside or salt lines to inside? To keep things out. To keep things out, not to keep things in. Okay, yeah. perfect. Good. I could see no. by your uh, chalk lines that you obviously don't allow anything of, uh, uh, well, uh, devilish, fiendish nature into your abode. You can see that I'm definitely not. No, I guess I can be completely honest with you. I don't allow anyone affiliated to the painter to even see this show. No, I'll just... Mm-hmm. She just looks at you. So, uh, books, gems, or, um, ink, maybe? All right, we can do the business part. How much spelling do you want, darling? Uh, well, books first. Anything specific you're looking for? Uh, well, I am um, wizardly in nature. As you That's have many books already. that are wizardly in nature. Yes. You have to be more specific. Like, she just points, there's so many wizardly books. <laughs> uh, a grimoire something that would uh, contain spells that would um, enhance my spell ability, if possible. Looking for Arcane Grimoire. You know the book. I know the type. Do you have it? I also know that they are very restricted and very... That's okay. Well, we can keep these discussions behind the salt, so to speak? Well, we are. Right now. It's like the ravens are just intently looking at you. God, I want to summon the bull so bad. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> sure. I have... She... Like, she... She looks like she's about to say something else. She says, I have one of these. Come with me. And like you follow down and this library kind of continues out into spaces it should be. Uh, she ignores that Furo is grunting and kind of swearing underneath the coat. Um, as you uh, you come down, like there's a big locket, uh, like, 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 like a big wardrobe kind of thing. It's, lo it's locked up with with silver chains. As she touches it with a with like a, a long black like, nailed finger, it kind of opens up and just falls down. And she opens a big uh, like a few theatrics, and you see a a a purple a purple covered uh, grimoire. With like lines of this silver kind of chain uh, covering it, uh, making uh, what looks like a, 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 a septogram on the on the front page. All right. This is the kind of thing you want. I'm very curious indeed. I want to keep it locked away so securely. Uh, it's possible. Could I examine it? If she allows me, I'll. She uh, she uh, she looks at you and she and she and she throws it at you. Are you catching it? Uh. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right. Go I'm ahead a gnome, an so. Ah! <laughs> go ahead, give me an athletics roll. All right, athletics. Twelve. You fall off, Furo. As everything just goes haywire, you you grab the the tome and you manage to keep it safe as it hits the ground. Oh, and you hit the ground. Yeah. And she kind of goes to help both of you up, and she says to Furo, "I'm so sorry. Are you? You've been standing under there for a while. Are you okay?" Both Merlin and Mister Lane. 
Uh, this is a little embarrassing. Uh, it's fine. A lot of people come here and don't want to be seen. I just wanted to give you an out. And honestly, I've been wanting to do that for a while, so. Sorry. Uh, she gives you. She uh, reaches down with her hand. No. Uh, I assure me, uh, 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 very sorry about that. I will, that will of course, uh, take that off the planet's shelves. Uh, just a few minutes, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, sure. Oh. Uh, I have an identification nook, if you want to sit there. Uh, fantastic! Nuggle's very perplexed right now with what's going on. Could, but yeah, I'll uh, go into her identification nook, um, and I will put the book outside of the nook and cast identify on it, because I don't trust her stuff right now. Actually, can I make an insight check? Here, go ahead. All right, 17. Yeah, that's definitely something fishy about this lady. All right, so like I'm why is she gonna, show I'm why not... is she so paranoid? But she's but if she if these enchantments that she's claiming she she's doing, she also has to be pretty powerful. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of I'm not going to use the nook, but I'm going to kind of you know, be close to it kind of thing. Yeah, sure. Like looking at the nook, it doesn't seem like it, it seems like a nice chair. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to... No, I'm not, sure. not going to sit in the chair. But I'll, we'll cast it to find the book. You can... Right. It's a, it's an Arcane Grimoire plus one. Okay. Uh, this would be fantastic for what I'm looking for. What uh, what cost would you like for this? Uh, a trade, possibly? Call that... mm. me interested. What do you have? Um... Furrow, what that? Uh, the chalice yes, uh, that I gave you. Uh, yes, mission honor. Can you hand it to uh, Rachel? Rachel, your name is? Yes. Yes. Yeah, he has all the chalice. Oh. Something oh, I yes. found on one of my adventures. It has many different types of properties. Quite powerful, in the right hands, but uh, not as useful as this book that you've given to me. Ah, for don't myself say. at least. So the Charles of the really Rotten Prince. Interesting. I'm uh, just checking how rare I made it. Uh, there's no rarity on it, <laughs> from what I see. It's rare, right? Rare, yeah. Uh, is that one batch up? Is this a one of a kind item? It seems. It's actually Very quite weird. It is pretty. Uh, this is pretty evil, you know that? Like, I love like the skull. It's right in my. I love it. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nogo shyly looks over over to Furrow, who has good alignments. She and has Nogo. she has skulls everywhere. Like <laughs> yeah, and Nogo's like um. Well, I didn't want to let him know that it was evil, but it's something we needed to get rid of because we're not um. Well, we're along a more of a middle of the path kind of lane, but. Uh... Uh, and have you? Did you let me know now, Monsieur? Uh, thank you. Yes, I, please, I uh, told you. you what, I told you you're traveling with us, so you can learn to trust us, and we can learn to trust you. And you didn't turn evil when you had the chalice. It was perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Deception. He shrugs. Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> he just shakes his head. Uh, okay, I feel fine. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I can let you have that. I can also. Uh, you know what? I'll. Uh, I'll even throw in five hundred gold of magic ink as well. Truly. Do, do, did I see any kind of like creature body parts and stuff like that? Any kind of like very strange kind of weird shit when I came into the store? Yeah, there's a bunch of weird shit. All right, so I'm pretty I sure have... most of it is like cobwebs that are fake and stuff like that, but I... a bunch of it is real too. I have um, fifty kraken parts. I gave twenty five to Snake Snack. Um, if I take out some kraken parts, is she interested in those? Where did you get this? Well, you know, um... we're in adventure town. I assume things that I tell you right now. I don't know why I have this weird feeling to trust you. It's not enchantment by any means, but, uh, well, we killed it. Me and my party, my adventurers. We're not simple 
boring adventurers that seek healing potions, like you said before. We're looking for something more powerful. Okay. She gently takes the Arcane Grimra out of your hand. Maybe I misjudged you. Come on. This way. Another chamber? Furro. Uh, come with. Come. Okay, I can keep you company if you are too scared to go alone. Uh, I'll telepathically tell uh, Furrow, just make sure she doesn't kill us, please. <laughs> oh my god, we're in danger. And I'll telepathically talk to Bjorn. Uh, Bjorn, I don't know where you are. You I barely know you. where I... <laughs> he can't? No, uh, well, you can say all this, but you don't get any response. Oh. Um, shit, 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 shit. I'm just saying Furrow. <laughs> Uh, as you go down, you find another kind of a uh, wardrobe, or like a kind of cupboard. Uh, also, um... all right, this is where I keep the super rare stuff, like the collector's items. And here we have this one. And she takes out that's your book, you're sure of it. Did she steal it from you? That's the manifest right there in her hand. Uh, well, I'm concerned now, but the, the book's still strapped to my back, right? Uh, yeah, you, you kind of just think something yeah, yeah. tap for it? Yeah, it's there. What's this? Wow. You see, I write poetry, so is this a book of poetry as well? It looks just like the one I've started to write. Like no, what? Why would I sell you a book of poetry? Are you stupid? That, well, not sell me. I'm just saying you're showing me something that looks like a book of poetry, like I have, that I have here. This is, this is a really rad, dark magic item. Are you for real? All right, here, look at it. Well, if you want to look at my book, and I'll grab it off. I'm not going to. Lap, I'll open it up, and it's just full of horrible, no much poetry. Yeah. I said, oh, this is. I did you write this? I'm. This is, I'm it's a work in progress. Okay. I have yeah, many it's abilities, good, but yeah. I, it's not. I, I. I. Everyone that reads it says that I'm horrible at it, but still. I'm not. I probably shouldn't tell you where I got this, but it starts with shadow and ends on something rhyming with bell. So she has it too. Uh, does no one have to make a check for that? No, it's not King Krimera, plus two. Okay. But this is, uh, a little bit of an upgrade from the last one. And what cost do I have to take this? Oh, that one? And you're handing in the, uh, the chalice? The chalice one? and 25 Kraken parts. Knick-knack, or six sack for some reason, has 25. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing with those, but... You know what? We call that an even hand over, shouldn't we? I'll try to telepathically communicate with anyone else in the party, can I? Beside Pearl? No. Alright. Only Pearl. I can eat. I'll make he an insight thinks. check. Fuck sakes. God. Yeah. So, Seems fair. That's that actually... Uh, um, when I have a little bit more coin, I would like to come back and see you, Rachel. And I'm sure you'll see me again. I'm very interested in what's happening, but take the chalice. Take these pots. And I just start dumping out, like, guts and core onto, from the bag of holding. And... Uh, oh, yeah, take... can you put, just put it in this bag of holding? Uh, good, yeah, I'll just... I'll just... <laughs> it's like, dude, it's <laughs> baby mama bean. <laughs> baby bird, just... <laughs> All right, well, um, I think this is a good deal. But, Rachel, I'm very curious with you. I don't Definitely see you later. Sure, you can come and see me. I don't usually date gnomes, but I'm digging the frosted tips. So. I'm more into orcs. I know it's weird, but magic, right? <laughs> you can do anything you want. Yeah, yeah thank you, Rachel. You're going to come back next time. A uh, little better on the uh, on the on the on the whole uh, trench coat gag. I, I just I'm trying to. Well, there's reasons. Maybe we'll discuss them later. It's fine. Well, if you're in here, I bet there. All right. Take care. Uh, go get some more money and go buy my stuff, okay? Uh, absolutely. Thank you very much. You would have corrupted matches on if you answer that. It's pretty random. Oh, fuck. I can add what? I have corrupted matches on. 
if you're into that. Um, who has the corrupted magic site right now? Is it Aust? Hello there. Um, uh, how much corrupted magic site do we have? Oh, where um, I I've given magic? all of everything I had to you, and to create the portal, I do dose all of my magic site. Yeah, I don't think we've got much left. I think we've probably got about 20 golds worth. Because I used a lot of it during the battle. Uh, I kind of we used are, all of we are running out of time, though. Okay, I so do, I will I, say... I, if yeah. you would, uh, I would, uh, if, if you uh, do have a certain amount that I could purchase, I, I could easily give you 500 gold pieces to uh, purchase some more. Yeah. You want some corrupted matches, right? I'm very curious of Magisite. Are they, uh, normally one dose I'll sell for 250, so I guess for the 500, you get two of them. Perfect. Done. All right. I'll eagerly, um, thinking I got a steal of a deal, but thinking there's something wrong <laughs> with everything and just running away from the bad feelings. <laughs> Yeah, Nongo will like it, and just get out of there. Beautiful. As you as you get out, I just want to say before we end up for today, is there anything else anyone wants to buy? Now we are here. All good here. All good here. And uh, Bjorn and uh, and uh, and Faust, do you still want to harvest uh, harvest people's kidneys? Uh, it seems pretty hard to harvest organs in the city. But so, oh, hey, you, you, you guys can give me a. Uh, I'll let you do it. Just if you give me a. Uh, I don't know. What kind of check do you think it best rep represents uh, doing uh, uh, illegal organ trading? Uh, I have a background as, as a doctor. So I might know. I just want to look for people who are healthy enough but don't look too attached to this world. Maybe criminals, which are not missed. Right, so go ahead Jesus and give me. Christ. I want, I want a, I want a medicine and an insight and a deception check from you. And uh, Bjorn, okay. you can you can choose one of them you want to help on. Okay, a perception. Uh, again, perception. Deception, insight, and medicine one. Oh, deception, insight, medicine. Okay, deception, uh, deception, insight. So, but I, but before you start rolling. I oh, want okay. to know which one of those Bjorn is helping you on. Uh, I'm good at insight and I'm good at medicine, so maybe help me with deception. Like, maybe we can tell them there's a nice place that they can visit. That we can show them. Similar to, like, the Homer Simpsons episode, where they loot all the... <laughs> okay, good. To what do you say, Bjorn? To Bjorn, uh, the thing in the tavern was organ harvesting. He doesn't have much of a concept of uh, what that is. So I, I think uh, that that's uh, his organ harvesting experience has uh, ended there and uh, he will turn to drinking uh, instead. So I, All I, right. I don't think he will, he will help. Okay, then I will cast, I will use my magic item that uh... Uh, I have saved some uses there for enhanced ability times 10. So I will enhance myself for charisma to give myself advantage on that. Cool. So I roll again. So deception, insight, medicine. Deception, 18. Insight, uh, 16. 16. Medicine, 24. All right. So guys, how much do you think a full suit of human organs should go for? Go oh um, God! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm just looking for some people who look very well done. Like without the only reason I want to go har uh, organ harvesting is to get uh, uh, connected with the people to this party because for Faust it's like doing some things together that he is interested in with the party is a good way to bond. And if like uh, Bjorn's not there, then he might as well just look for people to convert. Maybe he's looking for some sick people, looks at them, looks good as organ... He makes a mental note there, but otherwise he will just get some more followers. All right, all right. So go ahead. I'll say with these three here, uh, plus it's some decent roles, go ahead and give me one... Uh, just roll me 1d10 here. Okay, good. 
Like, I'm. Uh, it's really not the same. I thought I could bond over organ harvesting with Bjorn, but maybe I would just gather so some more. Fucking creepy, dude. It's great. Uh, five. You get five subscribers. Five subscribers for the Twitching Council. Very yeah. well. Remember to ring that bell. Yeah, I've just, <laughs> just, <laughs> fucking, I've just <laughs> realized. I should, uh, should, I, should I just ring, ring the bell you're holding out? What do you mean? Uh, why, why should I do that? I will, I will slash the sub match. Just remember the switching console. Oh, sure, all right. Uh, he rings the bell. Doing, uh, cool, all right. Be aware. Uh, like, and, like and subscribe to the twitching council. Uh, Sorry, had, had, had anybody has anybody else already realized that? Or was I only just, just realized, honestly. So I'm just <laughs> shocked. Slash sub match. I'm shocked. I didn't, shocked think about I didn't make the link. I didn't I'm even disgusted. Think about it. Wow. My my favorite organ harvesting stream. <laughs> it's, it's the only one I subscribed to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This this episode became a shopping episode, and that's fun. Uh, that was great. No, uh, we, we didn't shop at all, Bjorn, right? We didn't shop. We also didn't get to harvest any organs, but well. We just well, lost. Yeah, we just lost, lost a lot. That was some very, very, uh, very, like, you, you had gotten a very powerful magic item if uh, if I hadn't rolled that eight. That's just... That was, was so close. close. In, in my mind, I was just like, if I don't roll an eight here, I'm giving him a very rare magic item for free. <laughs> That will make Bjorn even more devastatingly impossible to stop. Well, it was all about plus ones, right? Uh, uh, it was yeah, plus no, one no, to Bjorn's um, attacks, plus one to armor classes, yeah. plus one to spell saves, right? It was all plus ones, right? So, I mean, that's yeah. I mean that's a natural kind of progression. Yeah, uh, anyways, he uh, is a 20 I, strength. I am, uh, so I took uh, the Chalice of the Prince uh, off of yeah. Furrow and I gave him the Cloak of Arachnidia because I think a climb speed of 40 feet when he can run up walls is pretty fantastic. Uh, he already has a climb speed. Yeah, but it's got a bigger one now. Yeah, but he can climb. But now he can, can climb, climb upside uh, down. Yeah. He can climb across yeah. vertical surfaces, and he also has surfaces of the poison. And then I have uh, attuned myself to the Arcane Grimoire, uh, also given Furrow. Well, I, I guess we'll find out what the hell we're doing with this, um, <laughs> with this, uh, uh, cube of force. I have that's been sad, fun fucking for fantastic. You. Oh, dude, take saying? it then. Oh, yeah. The cube of force. Anyways, we'll, we'll burn that bridge next week when we get to it. I'm going to put cube of force into pretty good. Yeah. All right. In that case, uh, everybody, thank you all for watching. Uh, there was some questions about our maps earlier, uh, Tanner, or uh, yeah, um, uh, Crisis GTV um, asked uh, asked how the map was made. I said it was um, from uh, Incarnate, it's where we get you most of our maps from, and Sipiko Desert Battle Maps. Um, actually, not sorry. We create our roar. Our DM creates Incarnate uh, maps, but you use something else as well. Uh, yeah, I, I made it with a random generator that makes a city, fantasy city generator. Let me just see. It's called What About. It's basically What About, but without the T at the end. So it's What About. And they've got yeah, a different the What About or a medieval fantasy city generator. Uh, Tanner, yeah. I'm sending it to you. If you could just share that in chat, that would be yeah, lovely. Absolutely. They got some good one page dungeon builders as well, if you're. Yeah, a, and they also have a, a bunch of other beautiful things. Uh, including a neighborhood generator, and uh, um, you can make three D three D renderings of the cities that, that, awesome. that you're making. So that yeah, and, and they'll, also... they'll 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 they're also um, if you are streaming for some reason, um, they have no problem letting you actually do that, um, as long as you credit them. I yeah. guess, and this is what we're doing. So I'll put yeah, it in our Don John as well. Our, and what are, uh... on our chat here, and it's also going to go into our other chat as well. Perfect. And what I did was I uh, I took that uh, city I got from there that I like, and then I put it into Incarnate as a background, and I just uh, drew drew the uh, the borough lines and put in the uh, locations of interest. That is a little yeah. fiddly, but you can kind of figure that out. There's a bunch of great people to uh, watch tutorials on from Incarnate online, so I would uh, recommend everybody watch that. Usually yeah. we use uh, we use uh, a bunch of battle maps from uh, Sam Peku, which we are uh, subscribed to their Patreon, and also we use uh, Michael Delphi's uh, ambient music that you've been hearing this session as well. Um, a bunch of things, a bunch of people who have some credits, you can go down in the info boxes down below, you can have a look at that uh, here on Twitch, and otherwise uh, I think you should uh, you should uh, 
go ahead and subscribe to the twitching council here and uh and uh, return we'll be back Please. in two weeks uh and uh, and if you want to join us uh, uh for next time and figure out what is going to happen here in new wrath when they get outside of the uh the crazy dumb uh, adventure zone and go into the place where real people live uh <laughs> you, will, you, 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 can, you can come and uh, you, you, you can come and follow up on that uh, we might see Steve, we might not. There might be a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, other than that, thank you all for playing tonight, guys. It's been great, and I'm looking forward to next time. Yeah, well, and if you follow you. us, you get yeah. to keep your organs. Yeah, yeah that's uh, just Jesus a little Christ. bonus. Thank you very thank much, you. Steve. I mean, Alex and uh, Anton, Jonas, Leon, fantastic. Yeah, thank you all. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, thank you, Nick, our IT guy who you can watch and uh, twitch.tv slash you know gaming uh, a bunch of times in the weeks just uh, don't think just uh, when we're done here in a second just type in twitch.tv slash you know gaming press the bell and the phone funny uh, a great group it. of guys uh, I suggest you actually all go check it out it's fantastic I laugh every time yeah apart from that I'll just say uh, see you next time take care everybody right. bye bye ding dongs bye.